Classic Retro Modern at Festival of the Unexceptional, and we're here with Mark Pallet. 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 You say Pallet. It doesn't matter if you say it how it is, it's fine. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, with his uh, 1979 Escort Mark II. Um, which version of the Mark II is this? This is the L. The L? Okay, yeah. so it's nice and low spec. Yeah, yeah, it's the 1.1 L, yes. Okay. How long have you owned it? I've owned it for a few months. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and why do you own it? How did you come to buy it? Um, I saw it available. Um, I had a car uh, exactly the same colour, same year, uh, model, obviously everything, um, in, um, when I was 18. And my mum and dad bought me my first car, and basically it was one of these, exactly the same. Uh, I've decided to buy another one, because I'm 50 this year. I lost my granddad recently as well, and I wanted something as a memory from him. And I thought, well, we'll go back to the day that I had my very first car. And uh, so I've gone the same spec, colour, absolutely everything. How easy was it to find the car that you wanted? Uh, very hard, the colour of it, very hard, very, very hard. Absolute bonus with the uh, low mileage on it, or extremely low mileage on it. Um, but yeah, I wanted one in this Corbler, I think it's Corblan Beige, I think it's called, something like that. So yeah, very, very hard. Okay, so you're in a few months, it's done a tiny mileage, presumably you're going to have to not use it very much because otherwise the miles will just go up. Um, um, it's, it's there to be used, but it'll only obviously get used as and when uh, for shows. Um, obviously on good days, clearly, just to keep the thing ticking over generally. Uh, with such low mileage and stuff like that, I've got a lot of comfortable miles to go through and it's still extremely low mileage. So I feel it's just, it needs to be used, but obviously it's got the bonus of having such low mileage on it. Really. And do you know why it's done so few miles? Have you got any history with it? Yeah, it was, uh, a gentleman bought it in 1979 from Days of Lower Stuff and he had it for 10 years just used it to go to the shops and back and stored it away in 89 in a or 1989 in a air called uh, storage shed and that's where it sat 32 years and tin and i acquired it so having owned one of these all those years ago yeah. and you're revisiting it is it how you remember it oh without doubt without doubt the smell, the smell is like the 70s thing, just like my other one was. Obviously it had more mileage than that, but it's just, yeah, just everything about it. No, no seat belts in the back, of course. Uh, no headrests. Um, yeah, you've got the, the original Ford stereo in it, what I had in the day it's as well. It's a driving experience. The driving experience, yeah. Just it's just how you remember it. Oh, without doubt. With no power steering, yeah, clearly. You, you, it's very difficult not to. You know, the difference of power steering and no power steering. Yeah, you do notice it, but it's just... And brakes. And brakes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And brakes. You realise you have to look a yeah. mile ahead. Because you, you haven't got braking, ABS yeah. brakes. You haven't got all that going on. So, yeah. But it's so wonderful to drive. It's just... It, it does feel like I've gone back to eight, being 18 again. It Brilliant. really does. Brilliant. I was just saying, everyone's fascinated by the retro seats. Everyone, everyone's commenting about how nice the seats are. Was your, did your original Escort have seats like that? No. So they weren't check seats? No. no. Why has this got check seats? Is, is, is um, it special it's, about it? Uh, yeah, it's just the spec that they decided to do with the colour to, to match with the uh, dashboard and everything else. So it was just a, I don't know if it's a specialised design or not, that's something I'll have to obviously inquire on. Um, but so many people turn around and said that's probably one of the best interiors they've seen here today. Yeah. Uh, it's Fantastic. very striking. Very striking. Uh, it's very striking, that's for sure. Striking is the word. Yes.